I recently started running out of room in my iPad in the iCloud backup, and I wanted to look into solutions of what I could do so I would be able to continue to back up my Procreate artwork, which admittedly is manual, so it does require a little more effort on my part, but at least what I'm doing now, I know for sure that I've backed it up properly and I can restore anything I want to Procreate at any time I want, which takes a load off my mind. So the way to do that, you're gonna need an external hard drive, like so, where a hard drive and an adapter, USB adapter. And then what you're going to do is also get a USB-C to USB adapter. And you can plug one into the other one, like so. But um, okay, and now that these are connected, you're going to connect all of that to your iPad in the place that you would normally be charging it. Okay, and now you want to go stack by stack. If you choose more than one stack at a time, I found that what happens is it's saved to a hard drive in one big folder, which is not very helpful if you went through the trouble of making these stacks. So what you want to do is you want to select one stack. So example, let's say portraits. I'm going to say share. I'm going to share it in Procreate format so it saves all the information that's saved into Procreate, such as the videos and anything else associated with it. Once it's done with the export, it asks you where to save it. I'm going to save it to files. And I'm going to save it to my external hard drive that I have for this. And here I have one folder, which is Procreate Backup. And here I have all of my uh, stacks. So I'm going to create a new stack, a new folder, which represents the stack called Portraits. That's the name of it. That's why I called this one, Portraits. OK. And make sure it's highlighted and hit Save. And so now it's save into the folder portraits, which is on my external hard drive. So once that's done, you go through and unselect that one, and you can select the next one and share and repeat the process. Now, once you have saved everything you want and you're done, you can look at them. Okay, if you go over here, go into Procreate Backup, and I see portraits I just made. Okay, and here are all the portraits. Here, okay, now if I click on any one of them, it will it'll restore it into Procreate. But let's say I wanna restore a lot of them to Procreate at one time, because uh, if I restore one, let's say this one, okay? So it imports it and it puts it in the main, the main directory of Procreate, which is not so good because I spent time putting everything into stacks. So how do we handle that? So what we'll do is we'll first going to create a placeholder stack. So we're going to create a just some two items, and duplicate it, and then we can select them both, create a stack out of it, and we're gonna call it portraits, we'll call it new portraits. Okay, fine, so now we have a, new, a place called new portraits, we're gonna open up that stack, and now we run back to portraits, which is what we wanna restore from, we go into here, we hit select. We say select all or whatever you want to select to restore from. With one finger, you press and hold and drag. That will select them all. With your other finger, slide up from the bottom of the screen, hit procreate, it'll launch procreate and open it up in your new area. So I'm gonna drop it over here in this stack and I'll load them in that stack. So now all I have to do is select those last two that I used originally and delete them and we're done. And it's basically rinse and repeat for all the other ones you want to restore. Please feel free to ask questions and comments in the chat.